Hi everyone, welcome back to Baking with Matisse. Since last week's ice cream video used egg yolks, I thought I would do another egg white recipe this week. But don't worry, I'll still be showing you how to make edible cookie dough. This week though, I'm going to show you how to make a mini angel food cake in a loaf pan using a recipe from Dessert for Two. For this angel food cake, you're going to need 3 quarters cup sugar divided, 1 half cup flour, 1 tablespoon cornstarch, 7 egg whites, 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, and optionally, some colorful sprinkles. First, in a small bowl, whisk a quarter cup of sugar with the flour and cornstarch. Next, using an electric mixer, whisk together the egg whites and salt until frothy. Then slowly stream in the remaining one half cup sugar with the mixer running and continue to beat until soft peaks form. It is important that there is no yolk in your whites, otherwise they won't whip up properly. Beat in the vanilla and then sift in about a third of the dry ingredients at a time, folding to incorporate so as to not knock out any of the air you just beat into your egg whites because that is the only thing making your cake rise. Finally, just before the last one third is fully incorporated, you can fold in some sprinkles if you're using them. Transfer to an ungreased and unlined loaf pan and bake at 325 for about 40 minutes until the top of the cake isn't sticky to the touch. It is important that the pan isn't nonstick and that you don't line or grease it because the cake needs to cling to the side of the pan in order to rise up. Trust me, you'll be able to get it out later on. As soon as the cake comes out of the oven, you want to turn it upside down on two cans, being careful not to squish it with the can, and leave it like that for an hour so that the cake won't collapse. Cut around the edges to get the cake out, and cut into slices. I like to serve this with whipped cream and fruit. The whipped cream I usually just eyeball by beating some powdered sugar, vanilla, and heavy whipping cream in a bowl until soft beaks form but you can find a recipe for this online too. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, it would really mean a lot to me if you hit that subscribe button. I'll be back next week with edible cookie dough, but in the meantime, keep leaving your suggestions in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time.